Hi, it's Nell, and you caught me. I'm here at Green Things Nursery in Tucson, Arizona, in their tropical greenhouses. I am shopping for pothos. And why am I shopping for pothos, do you ask? Well, I want a pothos of my own, but I also want to tell you all about pothos and why they are a great house plant, especially if you are a beginning gardener. I just want to tell you what the title of the blog post that goes along with this is. New to gardening, 11 reasons why pothos is the house plant for you. Now I'm just going to touch on these reasons really fast. More detail will be in the blog post, which was actually written mainly by Lucy. I added to it also. You don't see Lucy, she's behind the scenes here. But she is a total beginning gardener and she has had a pothos for quite a few months now. She's loved it. It's healthy as can be, doing great. So this is actually written from her point of view, not my point of view. Um, I've been gardening for a very, very long time. I was an interior scaper. I used to maintain interior plants and offices. I can't tell you how many thousands of pothos I maintained. Many many because I remember the Hyatt when the Hyatt had the pothos that hung in the atriums I was like oh my god just just a thousand pothos in that place alone so you let alone every place else but they are a very very popular plant and very durable on with the reasons the link to the blog post will be at the end and it will also be in the description box down below Number one, pothos are great for beginning gardeners because they are so easy to maintain. They're just really, 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 really easy. In nature, uh, they grow to be 60 feet tall. They grow up trees. The leaves get really big and huge, and they're called devil's ivy because they can be somewhat invasive because they are such vigorous growers, but very easy indoors. Number two is they are easy to find. Some house plants like the ZZ plant, which I love, are a little bit harder to find, but this one you can find a lot of different places. You saw me at Green Things Nursery. You can find them at nurseries and garden centers. And Lucy, for instance, got hers at Home Depot. I've seen them at Lowe's. Um, lots of other, I, th I think they're at supermarkets. So this one is a plant that is very easy to find. You can also find them online. We have a link in the blog post to where you can find them on Amazon. <laughs> Number three. Number three is they are cheap. AKA, well, a nicer way of saying that, I guess, is they are inexpensive. The pothos will not break your wallet at all. This beauty with these long, long trails, this gorgeous one, was six dollars and ninety-eight cents. For this, mm, a bargain I tell you. Okay, well on to number four. They are available in a variety of leaf colors, leaf patterns, and leaf sizes. This one is Marble Queen. It happens to have a lot of white in it. There's the Golden Pothos. There's the solid one called Jade Pothos. Um, Enjoy has a lot of white and it has a smaller leaf. Depending on what grower you get it from, they grow different varieties. So you'll be able to find something that suits you to a T. Number five, they tolerate low light and more. Now, it prefers bright light, especially one like this one, uh, because it has the variegation in the leaf, so it needs more light to hold that variegation and to bring it out, but they will do okay in low light. They might turn to a solid green, and they may not grow that much. Now, the more is they will tolerate recycled air and also lack of air circulation. That's why they do so well in offices, hotels, malls, uh, building lobbies, airports, those indoor situations. 
Number six, they purify the air around them. They will take in all the bad stuff and then they release the good stuff, namely oxygen. Number seven is they grow fast. If they're in nice bright light and they're happy, they will be trailing, trailing like crazy. I used to go to this um, little Chinese restaurant near my warehouse in San Francisco and they had a tiny dish garden. You know, they probably got in the pothos years and years ago and it, like, it didn't have any leaves for at least three feet and it went around the whole restaurant, these, the, you know, these trails, but it had leaves at the ends of the, of the trails. It just didn't right at the base of the plant there, but that thing was like trailing all over the place. Number eight is with their soft, glossy, large leaves, they will add a tropical touch to your home without you having to do that much. Number nine is they are very versatile. You can hang them. You can put them on top of a bookcase so they can trail down the side, a bookcase, a shelf, a file cabinet. You can grow them on a bamboo hoop, um, on a piece of bark, like you saw in the intro, that one with the big leaves was growing on a piece of bark. Or you can do something like um, grow it in kokodama, which is the moss balls that hang. Apothos are great for that. I'm gonna get you up close and personal for number 10. They are very easy to propagate. These are the roots that are just growing off of the stems here. That's why they attach themselves to trees and to uh, things out in nature because these roots are very aggressive. You can see this one even has two. There's, an, there's another one coming on that node there. So what you can do is you can simply uh, take a snip about, you, you would wanna cut it about there and then you can stick this part with the root in water and it can stay in there for a little while actually and uh, it'll uh, send out some more roots and it's easy as that. And number 11 is they are long lasting. I told you about that one with the trails that ran around the restaurant. You've probably seen pothos like that. They last for a long time, even in small containers and they grow like crazy. So be sure and head over to the blog post at joyousgarden.com to get more details on this plant. I also did a post on maintaining the pothos, which I will put down below, and also there'll be a link to that post in there too. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful and informative. This is really an easy, a great plant to start with, so get your, get your thumb green and get going. I thank you for all your likes and your comments and your subscribes. I thank you very much for all of them. I have a lot more videos coming your way, so be sure and come back. So let's get working in our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I'll see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.